Hi, welcome to Sassy Studio YouTube channel. I'm going to paint with watercolors on watercolor paper and then use some markers. So make sure it's a square. I found that easier. I'm using the width of the ruler to make some shapes. Um, whatever it takes is to kind of break this up into some smaller shapes really helps you get started. And so I think you, I'm going to be using formal symmetry, which is basically symmetrical. Um, asymmetry is informal but I made a few mistakes, so it's a little informal. <laughs> Make your own design, have fun with this, find things that you could trace too, that's fine. And um, yeah, move your paper so you have a nice movement there as you trace away. Again, I'm just trying to make different shapes. Ooh, I'm gonna use a uh, diagonal and break up the spaces so you're ready to paint. So I'm gonna use yellow to get started with. And what I really want you to do is watch how I use the paint. First, I'm just kind of twirling the brush I start in the center and then I outline it very carefully, but I need to turn it because it's not natural for me to turn it with my hand. So try to figure out what's natural for you. If you make a mistake, just blot it with a paper towel and keep turning your paper as needed. That really does help. Um, and then practice. This is a way to learn how to fill in spaces. This is called a wash in watercolor and it will really get you, you know, some more confidence in how to apply it. But yes, really limit your water. You don't want to glide it on, absolutely. But if you use too much water, it tends to just kind of get harder to uh, move around and then it just kind of takes over. So I keep turning my brush. Notice how I have a horizontal stroke there. That really helps as well to get to the edge. And then I think I'm gonna use a different color. So I clean my brush, I'm twirling it, getting some paint ready. And I got a little too much paint, so I touch the watercolor, not the watercolor, the paper towel to get, lift it off. Did you notice that? You need to have a paper towel right ready to work with so that you can um, remove any extra water. Keep turning your paper and have some fun with this. This should be great. Now if you don't like some things, the good news is later on we're going to use some markers or sharpies and you can fix any of your mistakes or color over them and yeah, have some fun. So watch my techniques on how to, I apply the watercolors. It seems simple, but once you get started, it really does help to see where I put my brush, how I stroke the brush, and how little water that I use. Okay, it is really dry and you can use a hair dryer to dry this. Now I'm using the ruler to get some straight lines and I'm using different markers. I chose to add blue. I think it looks kind of cool. What do you think? You can add whatever colors you want. Just go slowly. The blue actually kind of mixed with the orange and made a little bit of a brown. Notice how I'm using the ruler to move the marker. See how I shifted the ruler over and I made a thicker line, that kind of helps a little bit. So have fun with this, do whatever you want. I just decided to make some designs. It really does help to have a marker that has a nice clean tip. Mine were not that great, they were a little soft, but that's okay, I still had some fun making some designs and breaking up the shapes even smaller and adding some extra colors and maybe fixing some mistakes that I made. So again, just watch this, get some ideas from it, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna just do some organic wavy lines, why not? Um, I hope that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.